Hi, I'm Mrs. Lisa, and I lead the preschool kids here at Bell Press. We have so much fun playing together, hearing Bible stories, and worshiping through singing and dancing. As Buddy Bear is showing you, preschool kids sit in chairs that are just the right size for them. But I have to really bend my knees and stretch my muscles to sit in the little preschool chairs. Even though God called me to teach and lead preschoolers, a couple of years ago, I had a big problem. I had arthritis in my knees. So they really hurt, and it was hard for me to sit down in the little chairs or even jump and dance with the children. I felt so bad and a little mad that this was happening and that I had this problem. I knew God wanted me to teach the kids. Well, as usual, God found a way to help me. He heard my prayers, and soon doctors gave me new knees. It wasn't easy, but now I can do my work and have fun with the kids and even sit in the little chairs. Thank you, God. This month, we will hear Bible stories from the books of Joshua and Judges. We will hear how God's people, the Israelites, finally made it to the promised land after many years, but they still had problems. There were already people living in the promised land. But they met Rahab, a strong woman who helped them. God led them across the Jordan River. And God even stopped the sun one time to allow them to win a battle. God chose Gideon and gave him courage to lead the people, even when he thought he couldn't do it. In Old Testament times, and right now today, God hears us, leads us, makes a way for us, and gives us hope. Let's learn more about that through these stories of problems and promises. Be thinking about how God keeps his promises to us. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing. Nothing, absolutely nothing What can take your love away? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing What can make us separate? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing In death or in life What's deep or what's high There's one thing that stays the same Nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. What can take your love away? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. What can make us separate? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing in death. Nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. Nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing, nothing, 
nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. God. Trusting means you believe someone will do what they say. So, I have a question for you. Do you know someone you can trust? Maybe your mom or dad mm -hmm. or grandparents mm -hmm. or maybe even your leader at church? Mm -hmm. Someone we can all trust is God. But that was hard for a special group of people called the Israelites. God promised to bring them to a special place called Canaan. He led them and kept them safe for a long time until finally they made it to the land he promised to them. But their journey wasn't over yet because their enemy was already living there. God's special people were scared, but their leader, mm -hmm. named Joshua, knew they needed to keep trusting God. Joshua sent two spies into a city called Jericho. Jericho was famous because it had really tall, strong walls that kept their enemies out. But the spies were able to sneak in and a woman named Rahab let them hide in her house. 
The king of Jericho found out about the spies and sent his men to Rahab's house to find them. But Rahab protected the spies and hid them on her roof. Then she told the king's men that the spies had already left. The king's men believed her. They made sure the city gate was closed so the spies couldn't escape. And they began to look everywhere inside the city for the spies. It seemed like the spies were trapped, but God gave them a way to escape. Rahab's house was built into the city wall so the spies could escape through her window and use a rope to climb down the wall. But before they left, Rahab told them she knew that if the city of Jericho fought against God's special people, God would for sure defeat Jericho. She asked the spies to please protect her and her family. The spies told Rahab they would protect her and her whole family. They told her to gather her family in her house and hang a red rope in her window. And that would be a signal to the Israelites to help protect the people inside her house. Then the spies escaped through her window. When the spies got back to Joshua, they told him that the people inside the city were afraid because they knew God would protect and lead his special people. God had made a way for the Israelites because they were his special people. He showed them that they could trust him. If things seem too big for us, we can trust God because we're special to him too. Well, I hope you liked my story, but most of all, I hope you remember to trust God. See you next time. Bye.